Welcome to Big Oggy Golf and welcome to the Big Oggy Golf Diary. It's not going to be much of a diary this week because quite frankly the weather has been atrocious again. On my morning walks, if you've seen the pictures of me doing this on Instagram, um, I have been soaked to the skin every single day this week, I think. Uh, so much so that I think I'm becoming amphibious. Honestly, I'm getting web feet and oh, right. So, saying that, there's obviously no golf. There really is obviously no golf. I was hoping to do some filming today. I am currently, uh, you may hear the noise in the background, I'm currently on the A30, driving out of Cornwall into Devon. Uh, I've got a meeting today, um, but I was also hoping to go and play some golf and do some filming on a course for you because I know you like to see me play golf. Well, I know you like to see me hit a ball around, um, but quite frankly, as I've been driving up here, the notifications I've been getting from courses are closed, 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 flooded, sorry, not a chance. Um, and I can understand that because the oh, weather's terrible. That's a bad angle, oh, my God, that's a bad angle. I might have lost two stones so far, but uh, i got a lot to go. Uh, so, it's just another really frustrating time for us golfers. But remember, we're not the only people getting frustrated here. And, and there's a lot of people with, um, what well, livelihoods, really, to be dealing with right now. Uh, you know, those greenkeepers out there, they are working their socks off or doing their absolute best to try and keep the courses in some reasonable condition for when we actually get a chance to play. Um, and when we do right now, there will be frustrations from golfers because you'll be using temporary greens and temporary tees and there'll be shortening holes and some of the holes won't be usable, the bunkers will be out of um, play. That's not actually a bad problem for me, um, quite an advantage. But golf is not like we want it right now and there's nothing we can do. And my heart goes out to those people who are working on the courses every day, getting soaked like I was, although voluntarily um, myself, uh, outside in the open air, really. Um, it, that's, it's a problem with an open air sport. We have to deal with this situation. My worries are that a lot of golf courses, a lot of golf pro shops and all those kind of people are struggling because if there's no golf, no one's going to the clubs. No one's going to see the clubs, are they? Um, no one's going to play golf. Not as many people um, as we would hope if you were, we were a golf course manager or whatever. Um, or a restaurant manager or a bar manager, not as many people as they would hope, certainly, uh, are coming to have a drink or, oh, my car started up. Weird. Right. Um, or, or having a drink or coming out for a meal or going there for the evenings. So financially, it's a mess. Um, and I'm sure the pro shops, well, they must be struggling too. Because even if there are new clubs to try out and things, some of those places don't have facilities to try out stuff. And even if they do, would you really want to be spending a lot of money right now when you can't go and play? Now, I know, hopefully, this will be a temporary measure, but I spoke to Kelly, my wife, if you don't know who that is, golf widow, uh, yesterday, and we, she was saying that she can't remember the last time in all the years we've been in Cornwall that it's been this wet, this wet for such a continual amount of time. We're, you know, we're talking like October, four months now, probably, and it's just yes, almost felt like it's been raining every day. Just not good, is it? Let me turn the car off a minute because it's a bit weird. We'll get enough problems today with the rain noise, that alone the engine kicking over and the heater coming on. Yes, the heater would be on because uh, it's freezing as well. So, you know, spare a thought for all those people, okay? And if you can support them, please go. I mean, please go and you know buy a few things, little things, anything. Go to go to the shop, the pro shops and stuff. Keep them going. Um, and if you've got a chance to go out for a meal, go out for a meal to the golf club. There's plenty of the golf clubs that we have in restaurants and stuff, and they're all advertising that they're still open and doing Sunday lunches and stuff like that. Well, it's Mother's Day soon. Yeah, Mother's Day. Remember that one? Um, if you've got a mother around or if you've got a wife around or a partner around and you've got children, come on, take them to the golf club and uh, have a meal there. Yeah, spend some money at the place. Keep them going because you'll want to use them all 
later on in the season, when hopefully it's going to be sunny. Um, what else can we say today? Um, talking of sunny times, I will be doing a video which will go out uh, hopefully at the end of this week, which will give you full details of the big Oggy Charity Golf Day this year. Uh, we are going to be at Trethorne Golf Club at the end of August. I'll give you all the details and how to purchase tickets and when to purchase tickets. I'll do a video about that later on this week, but it'll be a, a separate video. I've actually just driven past Trethorne now. Honestly, I'm going to pop in myself, um, but I am en route somewhere else. So, what can I say today? Yeah. Now, ranges, practice ranges, places like that. Do you make use of them? Uh, obviously in this weather, what else can we do? You know, especially the ones that are covered, they're, they're brilliant right now. They are, they are the perfect place for us to go and practice or at least just go and hit some balls. We feel like we're still vaguely golfers. Um, but I know a lot of people who are just simply not interested. They don't, they've never had a lesson or if they have it, it was a long time ago. They don't want to improve, they're quite happy. And if they do want to improve, they want to go on the course and just hit loads more balls and think they'll do it anyway. Um, and the thought of going to a range just bores them to tears. So they've not been playing for months. And um, again, it must be very frustrating. I think this might be the title of this video, frustrating. Um, so do you do you use uh, range facilities? Are there, are there plenty of range facilities in your area? Um, are they, I want you to comment, okay? But, you know, do you use them? Are there places for you to go? What do you think they could do to improve? Because, um, you know, you never know, some golf range people might want to watch this and they might want to see the comments. It will be useful um, market research for them. Do you get lessons during this bad weather? And obviously, again, I think you probably have to get lessons in a, with a, a pro that's got an indoor area because quite frankly, outdoors is just as bad. Um, do you try and improve over the winter? Do, do you have uh, practice um, equipment and golfing aids in uh, your house? Like, you know, the putt out and uh, putting mats and stuff like that. Do you have any of that? Do you uh, do you do exercises? I'm doing uh, mobility exercises at the moment, like flexibility, trying to get myself more flexible. Um, so I've got a whole a little a plan of um, exercises that I do every day as well as trying to lose weight, which is obviously a, a key factor of what I'm trying to do to improve my health. And I will do a video about that very soon. I am working quite closely with uh, uh, a fitness um, trainer, golf fitness trainer, so I will uh, give you some details about that. Near, near the time when I feel, um, well, I haven't failed. I'm not, I've not failed, but um, I don't want to go, oh, look at me trying to do all this stuff, and then it, if it goes wrong, you'll, um, you'll have a go at me. <laughs> I know you won't. Nice no, people don't. Um, but honestly, I'm, I'm having a really good time at the moment, working very hard and uh, trying to get fitter and healthier. That, that's the only thing I can do right now. I can't go and play golf. The strange thing is my swing is weirder now, when I, or it feels weirder when I actually swing, when I get a chance to swing a club, because with the um, mobility, I feel that I can actually swing freer now, um, a little bit more in the back swing, and that's a bit strange because it means I can't hit the ball properly now. It's, again, little things change as you evolve evolution not revolution maybe revolution so um i'm gonna go off this meeting i'm gonna go and hopefully pop along to a devon golf course maybe just to just to see someone just to see some people some golfing people because um, being a golfing youtuber at the far end of corner was a bit lonely I wonder if there's anyone that can cheer me up Hello, Mr. Barnes. John, if, if how people, are you? I'm very well, thank you. If people don't know who you are, I have travelled far today through terrible weather. You've come, expect. you've come a long way to make a purchase. It's, you know, it's got to be what three hours, two and a half uh, it's, hours. It's three hours, and I did a bit of an extended tour around over the moors and over the, the hills and dales today to get here. Uh, this is Mr. Lester Barnes. Sometimes ex of Dan Hendrickson's uh, channel, but sometimes on Dan Hendrickson's channel yeah. and star of your own channel. 
Thanks, John. That means a lot. Well, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm here to hopefully we're going to discuss maybe some collaborations at I've, some point. I've been trying to get you on my channel for... I've been doing it for just over a year. And I've been trying to get you, but you're, you're a hard man to, um, to, to nail down, down, aren't you? No, I went through a lot of... I went through a bit of an emotional crisis and a playing crisis and that does got, it, just got scared of playing on other people's channels. Didn't think I had the confidence to do it. don't need to be, and you're always welcome on the channel, and we're play games that will suit you. Won't have it. Won't make it too competitive. Be fun. Do whatever you want, John. It won't make it too embarrassing for me. That's, that's right. the point, mate. Well, like, you can back play me. Anyway, but I, so. I'm here with a with cash. Wow. By, I know. Don't see much cash <laughs> down here. This, this is cash, everybody. Most people pay on a card nowadays. I use real money. Uh, I want to buy a Mars bar, mate. But a rumor is. You ain't got any. So I'm known as a bit of a well, Mars bar salesman, John, aren't I? And well, I've sold out. You are the world sold out. Well, <laughs> so, see, that's the problem. Hang on, I'm going to turn this around. Hang on. So the problem is that Leicester is world renowned as being the best Mars bar seller in the country, <laughs> uh, if not Europe. If not, if there was a world championship, mate, you'd you, be there. Thanks, John. You haven't got any. <laughs> You've <laughs> sold out. I've actually shown a bit of B-roll now to explain. There is. There's only two oh. Snickers left as well. I know. Jeez. So as there's no Mars bars, what what would you um, what suggest? Would I recommend? Do you, yeah. do you like something similar to a Mars bar? Because probably the closest thing there I've got is probably the double decker. It's not my favourite personally. I think right. it's it's not an elite chocolate bar, is it? Let's be honest. Uh, it's a, it's a it's a B level it's one. A, it's a, it's a B road, isn't it? And that's why there's so many of them still left. True. Uh, if you want to get all chocolatey, then it's got to be the twelve. That's right. You reckon it's you're slightly more lighter than the Yorkie? Cause well, the Yorkie... I just say that the, the Yorkie is a man's. It's a man's thing. It used, to, it used to actually say on it. I know it, it did. It said not for girls, isn't it? Which yeah. you can't do now. Kit Kat's more like a biscuit. It is, yeah. So Twix, keep it with a cup of tea. Yeah, Twix is all right, but it's just not. You know, they've just not quite got the combination got between think, biscuit well, and chocolate. No, I think well, and, I, and my wife won't let me have polar mints because she's allergic to mint. You know, is so it? if I if I start eating polar mints on the way home. I'd be banned to the shed. Oh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, that was your projectile vomit over it, which is oh, another interesting thing. Oh, no. so much information. So um, we will take uh, we'll take a twirl, I think. Okay. And I think we'll take a Yorkie because take uh, two. Well, why not? Why one for the wife, or you? One for the wife. Both I think them. she loves a Yorkie. It's shame you ain't got a raisin and biscuit one, no mate. No, That's sorry, I, I don't do the ordering. Really, this is not really my uh, domain anymore. So. No, you're you're yeah. doing a bit of part time work in the shop for now, just covering uh, holidays. Yeah, Dan's in Turkey with James on a coaching trip. They are. Josh has not been too well. He's had a bit of pneumonia. Okay. So, um, and Harry is on holiday. So yeah. Okay. So I'm in so here. I'm going to pay for these. Thank you, sir. Hopefully that's enough. That's enough. Never yeah. know the price now. Keep the keep the change, mate. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> well, here I am again, back in the car. Thank you, Lester. Um, good man. Good man. I love Lester. Very nice. Very nice gentleman. And uh, he will be on Big Oi Golf Channel very soon. Just need to get this weather a bit better and get my main camera fixed. And um, I'm going to do some stuff with Lester on his channel. Nice to see, you know, let's say the smaller YouTubers all creating. Because if we can all kind of do more stuff together. It's not always about the big boys out here. So that's the end of the video. I've got to make my way back to the other end of Cornwall and, and beat the weather again. Honestly, I've had it all today. I really have. I've had the rain. I've had a little bit of sun, not much. We've had gales, then we had a lot more rain torrential storm so we've had a snow blizzard across the uh, moors oh, i know i had the, the phone of the uh, my, my connection on my car uh, gives you this automatic radio uh, details for traffic information they put this thing on saying there's a blizzard across the moors in devon i know i was in it and that's so how when i got down to uh, painting nearly here there was just torrential hailstorm. i was behind a lorry and i didn't think you'd get up the hill it was really bad um, but we're here is thawing out. Leicester actually said to Churston today, um, they've all been playing. Maybe I should try to come here and do a vlog instead. But that's the nature of it. We're going to come back very soon and do some stuff with Leicester. And again with Dan and all the other people from here. But we'll speak soon about that. For now, let me get going. Let me get home. Thank you very much for watching this kind of unusual diary today. Um, well, it's not really not unusual at the moment because most of the time we're all just sitting around at home or in our cars and car parks and stuff, just waiting to go and play golf again. And let's remember it, Churston. Bye, everybody. Speak soon. Please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Make comments. How are you getting on with all this bad weather? Remember, are you playing or you're not playing? What are you doing when you're not actually playing golf on a course? Speak to you all very soon with details about the big Oki Charity Golf Day for 2024. Bye.